Guys, what's up? It's Justin Mark. Right now, I'm out here in Split, Croatia, in Southern Europe. And one thing I noticed is women here are very beautiful, very feminine, very elegant. And what's really cool about it is it's easier. Not only are women here just kind of just more down, more friendly, more interesting, but they're that kind of girl when you're just simply a gentleman. It's kind of different because, you know, North American, American girls are very ratchet, very loud, very crazy. I mean, women here are so elegant and cute and very wholesome. And uh, it got me thinking how a lot of this is also just a facade. A lot of it's just social conditioning. And culture doesn't really matter that much. And today, something interesting happened. One of my really good friends, a very high value man, called me. And he pretty much was expressing how he thinks his girlfriend might be cheating on him. And it really shows you that no matter what you do, who you are, if you don't stay on top of your shit, learn game, learn social skills, your girlfriend's gonna fucking leave you or cheat on you or explore options. And you're gonna be brought back to scarcity. You're gonna be back to a scarce mindset. So in this video, we're going to talk a bit about how you can ensure that you have a very successful and stable dating life, find high quality women who aren't these ratchet crazy bitches. But then also, we're gonna figure out how you can build a long-term strategy to have better dating partners. So you're not meeting the wrong women, you're actually meeting the right women. Because a huge issue I had in my life is I would rush into these relationships where I mean, fall madly in love with these girls and have a lot of fun with these beautiful, beautiful women, but then they're not the most stable dating partners. They are very promiscuous, kind of slutty type of women. Uh, maybe they have a higher body count. And because of all these things, they're more likely to explore options, cheat when things get tough, right? Versus, you know, you have a beautiful girlfriend who's only been with three guys before you, and she's young, feminine, wholesome, just wants to stay at home all the time, just wants to study for university, right? And it's great because while I'm traveling the world, fucking bitches, having fun, my girlfriend's just at home, just studying for university, trying to get into med school. And I'm just, you know, partying at the club with Luis Mercado and getting crazy. So let, let's, let's jump straight in. All right, so you want to be the guy who's meeting high quality women, not low quality women, right? And as much as you want to think, oh, it's misogynistic to cons label that, it's not true, right? You want to stay away from low quality people in general. Think about this, right? In 2019, I slept with 93 women, okay? I took home 93 women because I broke up with my dear girlfriend and I was so sad and I was just thinking I need to fuck as many women as possible until I forget about this chick so it took me about 85 to 90 women to get over this girlfriend right so I was just rampaging through girls pulling girl after girl and in doing so I pulled hundreds of women in my home okay I lived in this small lakeside condo in downtown Toronto it was before I moved into my gorgeous penthouse right and I had a very small bedroom it was the size of a fucking closet. And I was just slaying through any girl who'd fucking talk to me. I'd just bring girls home in hordes of women. And then I had two roommates who were my wingmen. I had two roommates who had also been with hundreds of women and they had incredible fucking game. And so the three of us would hook up with chicks and then toss them to our fucking roommates. <laughs> Insane, right? Consensually and respectfully. I would bring girls home and then I would persuade them. I would say, hey, you know what's really cool? My roommate is a male stripper and you should have sex with him because he's as hot and high status as me. And now when the woman I'm with is in a sexual state of mind, experimental, having fun, she's thinking, you know what? That sounds like a great idea. And then she'd go fuck my roommate. And what was crazy about that is because I have two roommates who are also really good with girls, constantly bringing women home. We constantly go out together and bring five, 10, 15 women a day home to our small condo. And we had nights where we'd hug up two, three, four girls a night. 
It was insane. It was crazy. There was weeks where I'd hook up with nine, 10 girls in a week, right? There was months where I'd hook up with a dozen to 15 girls in a month, right? And it taught me a lot. What it taught me is you wouldn't be bringing home random guys to your house. You wouldn't be constantly like, I think of it as a man, would you walk down the street and bring home any random fucking guy to your house? It'd be, hey, stranger off the street, come to my house and let's have drinks, right? Well, what was happening is I was bringing home a lot of random women. And in doing so, it's like I was tainting the energy of my environment with random women, low quality people. Now, I wouldn't do that with guys. You become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. All my friends, all my male friends are famous YouTubers, millionaires, influencers, successful individuals, uh, top club promoters, guys who are the top of the world when it comes to dating skills and be- dating coaches. Uh, big, 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 big people. People's YouTube videos you watch, people's you watch on TikTok, just all kinds of very high level people, club owners, uh, just millionaire entrepreneurs. Those are my friends. Those are the people I surround myself with and just great people with high integrity who are just great people in general, right? So think about this. You wouldn't be bringing random guys home to your fucking house, right? Unless you're a homosexual. Hey, no judgment. It's 2022, right? Do, do we got to do, right? But think about this, right? When you're constantly going out, clubbing, meeting people, dicking around, being social, and meeting fucking hot chicks, oftentimes you're gonna be bringing home random fucking girls. Now think about this. You don't know if these women have past criminal history. You don't know uh, their family upbringing, if they have a good relationship with their mother and father. You don't know anything about them. You don't know you know, who they are, what they're made out of, what upbringing they had. And now you're bringing these random chicks around you. You're bringing random people around. I mean, that's what I've done. I, I still do that, but now I'm a lot more careful. I bring out tons of girls. I bring out 200, 300 girls a weekend at parties. I met so many women through my pickup journey, through cold approach pickup, through social skills, through social networking, that I started a nightlife company that ended up bringing out 200, 300 girls a weekend on average. We have nights where we bring out over 500 women to the club, right? And get paid for that and make money off that, which is pretty insane. Like thousands of dollars each weekend, bring girls out to the club, right? But I won't bring all these women to my house. I won't bring that many women to my house And I'll still have parties where I have 200, 300 people in my house, my penthouse. I live in this gorgeous penthouse overlooking the city of Toronto. And I still won't bring home random chicks who are sketchy or delinquent because I will constantly read through the character of the person I'm talking to and make a decision over and over if I want that person around or in my circle. Because the last thing you want to do is have low quality people, men or women, in your life that bring down the value and sabotage you on a conscious or subconscious level, right? Because again, you become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Now, the last thing you wanna do is have people in your life that bring down your quality of life because they're a low quality person in general. And you gotta be really careful when it comes to doing this with women, dating women in general, because think about this. If you try to date a woman who is a low quality woman with low integrity, she's just gonna bring you down with her, right? You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Many men better than you have tried, okay? And so you got to realize something that oftentimes it's better just cut ties, drop her, think from abundance and go out and meet new people, go out and be social, right? We're here in Croatia and we're traveling. We're constantly self-auditing. You know, what do we want in our life? Where do we want to go next? What else do we want to see, right? Now, Think about this, right? Why would I want to leave my beautiful city of Toronto? Why would I want to go travel across the world on three different trips throughout the years uh, or even each each year, right? Early this year, you know, I went to Europe, then I went to, you know, Egypt, then I went to Colombia, and I'm tr- backpacking Europe, right? Why would I want to leave my business behind, my friends, my family, my dear, dear friends, my girls, my bitches, all my girls back in Toronto, my penthouse, right? My cute dogs, why would I want to leave all this behind and go travel and fuck hoes in different continents, right? Well, think of it this, right? When you step outside your comfort zone, you're gonna grow, you're gonna be challenged, you're gonna be forced to experience new things and that's gonna cause character development and character growth. You're gonna be forced to think different, think outside the box, think rationally and develop stronger emotions, right? And then you're also gonna see things from a different angle. You're gonna see things that you didn't see before. It doesn't matter what level you're at or where you think you're at, you can always get to a higher level. And so I like doing this because it helps with my dating life as well. I get to kind of see different cultures, immerse myself in different experiences, immerse myself around different people, different women, different vibes, right? And the reason I talk about women so much is because that's what I do. I'm My life is picking up chicks. My life is beautiful women, right? And so 
If you ever want to learn more about this stuff, by the way, you guys can go to my website, justinmark.com. You can actually schedule a call with me. Schedule a call with me. And we can actually get in touch, right? You can free call. Free phone call. It's free consultation call. Most people don't even realize you can just go to my website and call me anytime. And I get millions of views a year on social media, but you know, you, you can call me and talk to me and I can actually guide you through these processes and set up a customized action plan for you to get even better results, right? Justmark.com. Call me and we'll, we'll chat, right? Or you can fly to Toronto, join one of my boot camp programs where I teach these skills over the course of eight days, over the course of 100 plus hours of coaching and training, mentorship guidance, seminar events, nightclubs, parties, social circle events, fashion makeovers, photo shoots, VIP lifestyle transformation. And uh, it's really, really powerful stuff. So if you want, you can actually do that as well. And you just message me on Instagram and tell me that you're interested in the boot camp, but we can bring you there, right? And so I teach guys like you, these skills on how to actually develop your skills with women, develop your soul skills and get better with meeting women, right? Now, think about this. Why would I want to leave my home city and go travel and step out of my comfort zone? It's because I'm constantly trying to challenge my old belief systems to get to higher, higher levels, right? And so this is what I've come to the conclusion of. It's like, you really just need to make sure you're constantly auditing the people in your life, self-auditing your actions because you don't attract what you want, you attract what you are, right? And if you want to make sure you're attracting higher quality people, higher quality women, you need to also make sure you're a high quality man yourself. Yo, what's up guys? I'm over here with Justin Mark. We are sitting out here in Split, Croatia, which is my first time in Europe. And, um, you know, Justin wanted me to come up here and talk a little bit about what it means to be a high quality man. And I guess when I think about it, it's kind of all the things you kind of already know. Um, You know, I sometimes think when people ask me for dating advice, it's like, This is not like something secret. It's something that we all intrinsically know that you must do. And it is just simply doing those things that lead you to those results consistently over time. So, I mean, everything from just being committed to the gym, which is a commitment to yourself, um, doing things that honor your word. This is actually one thing that I think will help. And I think this is one of the things that leads to a lot of of depressing life is if you say something like, I'm going to get in shape this year and you don't do it, well, you've just lied to yourself, which is the most important person, right? So you already created this thing that you're not worthy because you didn't do the activities because you don't respect yourself enough to honor your word. So one of the biggest things I think that I learned from my father is, you know, if you say you're going to go do something, you better go fucking do it. You know, if you tell a guy I'm going to fuck you up, you better go fuck him up because, you know, that's what you said, right? Um, so honoring your word is going to be one of the biggest things that it's going to hold you in accountability, not to anyone else, but just to yourself. Um, so getting in shape, working out like a maniac, circling and surrounding yourself around people that also are committed to working out as much as you are. Um, you know, outside of working out, focusing on your finances, developing a sharp mind, going out and networking, which is going to help you develop very good social skills and also help you develop what I like to call your emotional muscle. Emotional muscle is just going out there and dealing with the shit of life all the things that life throws your way, learning to deal with it, learning to deal with adversity, learning to do sales and get rejection or quote unquote what you think is rejection, but not actually rejection. It's just just you getting better calibrated. But the emotional muscle it takes, that way when you have any type of adversity, you've been there. You've already experienced all these things. So it's not even a big deal to you. Like it's crazy how some people, uh, Justin was working with the student the other week and he had him go approach a girl and the guy just walked up. Like he froze. He didn't know what to do. He started shaking. And that's because he hasn't worked on himself. He hasn't developed any of that emotional muscle. Where that like, it means absolutely nothing to Justin. You know, whenever he opens up a conversation and whatnot. Adding to all that stuff is just another part is working on your finances. And it's not for girls, it's for you. Because you working on yourself to make more income is going to make you better at approaching and talking to women. Or dating in general. Because again, you faced more adversity. You've dealt with more rejection. You've dealt with more tears at night. More emotional... Um, just breakdowns even. I mean, I've gone through breakdowns. I think every guy, if you're not going through breakdowns, that means you're not working hard enough. Because if you do work hard enough, you're going to hit moments at night, which I've experienced, where I just feel like I'm failing in life to the point where I get emotional or I start crying or I start just shaking because my insecurities start coming out of me thinking, 
I'm not good enough. Like, how are these other people doing it? And like, it's just infuriating me. But that same energy is what forces me to wake up the next morning and go out and just slam the day and just hammer out your work and become even better. And every time you hit those roadblocks, those thresholds that you don't think you can go beyond, you have one of two choices. You're either going to fall, call it a day, right? You fall in or you rise above. So the choice is simple. You continuously do all this hard work from working out, going out networking, developing social skills, opening sets, uh, working on your finances, setting goals. And before you know it, within six months, I mean, you can just become an absolute machine at whatever you're doing. I mean, you talk about momentum. I mean, it's momentum can be created in the same day. It's crazy. You know, even Justin was talking about opening up sets right now. And it's just, he starts opening certain sets just to start creating momentum. And within like, six minutes he's opened 10 sets and he's already talking to a fucking 10 you know because he's built that momentum for himself just so fast and the same thing can happen in business if it's something that you are absolutely focused on and working on every single day and it just you have an obsessed mindset with becoming better that every little nuance that you can think of you're hitting because you're obsessed with that specific task and you know within one month three months six months one year you just absolutely won't even recognize the man you are and again, this is not new information. These are all things that you guys already innately know. At an intrinsic level, you know these are things you have to do. This video should just be as a reminder to serve purpose that you need to consistently work at yourself to become high value men and women will naturally just show up in your life. All right, so I mean, we've talked about how to avoid low quality people, right? It comes down to screening their behavior, but then also like any red flag that come up, have personal boundaries, right? And so now you're avoiding the low quality people. So I went from hooking up with like almost 100 girls a year to maybe hooking up like 50 to 70 girls a year because I figured that, you know, probably about 30% of the girls I was going to hook up with, I'm just like, probably like a little bit fucked up in the head. And I'm just like, let's just avoid those girls. And now my life has almost no problems. I went from having constant problems consistently, right? All kinds of drama and trauma and bullshit to having virtually none, almost zero fucking problems by just figuring out that a lot of the people who I should avoid I should avoid them and just digging into that deep, digging deeper into that and just having an absolute deep, deep personal boundary. Right. And then I also figured that, you know what, if I want to attract the highest quality people, I need to make myself the highest quality man. So I really, really worked on myself. I got in the gym, was working out like crazy, certain, certain diets. So I'm just attracting people to the same diet. Like I was vegan for three and a half years. Right. And then I just crushed in business. I made sure that I was making way the fuck more money uh, than any of my friends. And that way I'm just attracting newer groups of friends and higher quality people who think bigger. And that way I'm going to adopt a lot of their mindsets and behaviors as well. And then what happened was I started finding that the women I was attracting were higher quality as well because the hottest girls are used to being around the richest dudes. And now I've become a man who is successful to a certain degree financially. And now these girls kind of fit along with my vibe a little bit more. I fit along with them a little bit more. And so I found that now I'm just naturally attracting higher quality women because that's just what would make sense. The hotter girls, the girls who are more well-behaved, the ones who are a bit more like mentally and emotionally disciplined because I've become more mentally and emotionally disciplined, right? And so you got to do the same thing. You got to become obviously mentally, emotionally disciplined uh, by mastering your skill sets, whatever that may be, like your finances, your fitness, your health, your mindsets, your career, uh, just your values a man, right? A lot of things Louise talked about, right? And then Hold promises to yourself. That's extremely important. Keep the promise to yourself. Keep the promise to yourself. And that's what builds integrity. That's what builds self-confidence and self-esteem. And then you set those personal boundaries, right? You are the one leading. You create a social circle. Do lots of cold approach and, and start a social circle. And if you don't understand what cold approach is, it's the ability to actually go out and meet girls. Like we we're just in the club and we decided to go for a walk and then we're like, hey, let's shoot a fucking YouTube video. It's so gorgeous, the lights out, the fucking trees and shit. And we're like, let's just go film a YouTube video, right? And what was crazy is like, we're literally in the club talking to every single girl. No other guy in the club knows game. Me and Luis are laughing because we're just thinking no other guy knows fucking game. We're chatting with every fucking hot girl in the venue. 
to the point where we almost ran our girls. We're like, let's go for a walk and see what we can find in the street. And now we, we're in so much abundance that we're like, instead of staying in the club and just chilling on chicks, we're like, let's just stay on the street and film a fucking YouTube video. Then go back to the club and fucking take some girls fucking home, right? Because it's all about the abundance mentality. Knowing that you're that guy who has that abundance. That way you're going to have a zero tolerance policy for bullshit because you know that any single fucking time, some girl who's acting low quality, ratchet, threat, like, great example. I had a girl at my house. Uh, she was joking about stealing shit from my house, right? And I was like, hey, I have security cameras. I'll just fucking send it to the cops, right? And then I kicked her in my fucking house, right? Because I have a zero tolerance policy for any sort of abuse, uh, violent behavior, ratchet behavior, uh, low quality people having low quality behavior, zero tolerance. And I will never talk to that person again. You get blacklisted from my parties, get blacklisted from nightclubs, blacklisted from VIP tables in my city of Toronto, just by being a low quality ratchet person, right? Because we don't want that kind of behavior around. Because I know I can just go cold approach another pretty girl, another pretty blonde girl, put her to my fucking table. And now she has replaced your spot in my soul circle, in my life, in my booth that night. And so the whole point is by using soul skills, using social abundance, using cold approach, Tinder, travel, I can literally just create my own fucking reality, have unlimited fucking abundance and ensure that I have only high quality people around me. So when a lot of people message me saying, Justin, I love your life. I want a life like yours. I want to be able to travel the world. I want to be able to surround myself with gorgeous women like you do. I want to be able to have the freedom you do. I want to be able to have the confidence you do. Just realize where it's coming from. It's coming from that mentality of abundance. It's coming from the personal boundaries I have. It's coming from keeping promises to myself, having a high self-esteem and knowing that I'm going to stick to whatever it is I say. And if that means, you know, cutting off girls because they have low quality behavior or, you know, letting go of, you know, my amazing success to go see what else there is in the world. Well, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go stick to my goals and my, uh, you know, things I aspire to achieve and my word as a man, that's going to allow me to cut out the negative girls, cut out the, the fucking chicks who would cheat on me. Right. I'm going to make sure I only have the hottest girls who couldn't cheat on me because I've screened them so heavily to get to this point where by the time they're in my life, it's just been this organic structure that's developed. And I only have high quality people around me now. I've only have high quality women around me now. I only have a high quality lifestyle, high quality men as well. And living a very high quality life. So that's what I'm going to leave you guys with is develop yourself to be a high quality man and become a man who's a leader. And the people in your life will follow. And what's going to happen naturally over time is the people who are not meant to be there will disappear. And the people who are meant to be there will show up. And then go out and practice game. Practice cold approach. Go to the club. Go to the bar. Go do day game. Go meet lots and lots and lots and lots of fucking people. And watch your life completely transform. Watch your dating life, your sex life, your social life, your emotions, your confidence, everything. Completely go on the up and up. And have fun. Have fun doing it. And I will talk to you guys soon in a new video. Guys, my name is Justin Mark. It's great chatting with you guys. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Peace out. Gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach, relationship expert, and VIP lifestyle development coach. I've been teaching dating, soul skills, and day game for 10 years in 50 plus countries, six continents, and thousands of guys in person just like you. And I love teaching guys this stuff. So if you like this video, please make sure to do me a favor and leave a thumbs up on this video. I really do appreciate that. Now, if you want to follow me more closely, you can go ahead and follow me on my new Instagram, DrunkJustin2, and watch my daily Instagram stories where I'm always partnering with Hawker girls doing exclusive events, crazy, crazy shit on my daily Instagram stories. Make sure to follow me there. You can see me traveling around the world in real time, doing amazing things and teaching guys like you in person every day on my Instagram. And you can message me on my Instagram as well. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram and message me there. And if you want to actually call me, you can call me at justinmark.com. We'll do free consultation calls. You can actually call me. And we'll do a free discovery call where we can get you on the right action plan to change your dating life and your social life at justinmark.com. And if you guys want to dig deeper and watch more of our more exclusive content, go to wingmanpodcast.com and watch our Wingman podcast on Spotify, Apple, and all platforms. And we'll see you guys very soon in a new video. My name is Justin Mark, and I'll talk to you very soon. Peace out.